Hey guys, we are here at the Marathon Classic at Highland Meadows in Toledo, Ohio. We're really happy to be talking with Brandon Jackson, who is caddying for Bianca Pagnagdanon, something like that, right? Yes, Pagdanon. Yeah, I always mess that up. I'm, I'm sorry about that. But Brandon's a great story. Um, he uh, was a uh, Evan Scholars caddy here at Inverness. He's from the Toledo area. He's really excited because he gets to sleep in his own bed this week. But uh, Brandon, you were saying it's a uh, you're trying to get used to traveling around the LPGA yet? Yes, yes. No, it's been um, it's been great being able to play these such great golf courses. But yeah, still getting used to the hotels and the travel um, to this day. So hopefully, eventually, I can get used to it. But uh, I would say that's the hardest part this uh so far so how did you have to get hooked up with bianca um so we were actually she was practicing for the drive on championship and marathon last season oh, last year when they started the season back up yes yes so she was practicing for that and then my fiance's dad uh, milk carswell jr is the pro head pro at stone oak country club so i was actually helping him out there because i worked there as well and she was out there practicing and we happened to run into each other and told her i knew inverness pretty well and one thing led to another and we started caddying in arkansas and um, and then Philadelphia got a top 10, Georgia got a top 10, and just kind of stuck with each other ever since. Now, do you see yourself doing this for a while, or what do you think? Yes, no. So I've um, obviously caddied at Inverness and was planning up graduating professional golf management. So I was actually trying to get into sales and um, was offered a job to caddy at Augusta National and then obviously offered this job. So I've just been kind of going whatever um, has been thrown at me. And so I could definitely see it for forever, but I can't tell you for sure. Now, are you going to caddy at Augusta a little bit in the offseason? Yes. So I've been there for about a year and a half now. Um, absolutely uh, honored to be out there. It's, it's been been a pleasure the last year and a half I've been there. But, yeah, so starting in October, I'll head back there and caddy a little bit. What do you see going forward for Bianca? You know, I know she's been playing pretty decent in the past. Is her game at a good level to where she can get back to the winner's circle right now? I think so. I mean, the biggest thing that we're trying to work on is obviously every day um, work on our relationship. So the biggest thing I think is having that trust between a player and caddy to be able to go out every day and perform at the highest level. Um, we're also working, obviously, she had a ball mile, but, you know, that kind of the half shots for us are a little bit of a – um, the work in progress just because she hits it so far. So trying to dial it back a little bit, but we're getting there. Everything's um, a step at a time. And like I said, we're just trying to make cuts at the, at the moment and try to get back to kind of what feels good and what we were doing great back in the season when we got those two top tens. Now, you came out of the Evans Scholars Program at, uh, at Inverness, and for everybody that doesn't quite know what that is, uh, caddies who work at many of the private clubs around the country uh, can try to get into the Evans Scholars Program, which if you qualify for that, and there are some criteria you need to meet, but if you qualify, you get a four-year ride to a college. Of, in Ohio, it's either Ohio State or Miami. In Michigan, it's either Michigan State or Michigan. And I think, uh, did you go to Michigan State, right? I went to Ohio State. Oh, you went to Ohio State. Okay. I did. Yes, sir. Yeah. So you got the four-year degree from there in professional yeah. golf management. Yes. And, and then you jumped right on. You happened to just jump right on to the LPGA Tour. I did. Yeah. So it's been, been uh, obviously, the Evans Scholarship Program has been fantastic. I still follow uh, my roommates and a lot of the um, – people that I lived in the house with and their stories have been great but yeah it's been the opportunity is fantastic and I try to get a lot of the other youth to try to start caddying just for that purpose um, as well as just the people that you can meet the connections you can make on the golf course have been outstanding for me so so parents uh, if you want to have your kids grow up in a really good job that they can do during the summertime caddying at a club uh, then they still have the opportunity if that club is involved in the Evans Scholars to get that ride to college. And it's it's a great deal. We, we're, we're big promoters of that. We love the Evans Scholars program. Got to know a few of the people out there. And they just do a, a marvelous job. And, and you're a testament to that. I appreciate that. We appreciate your support. Um, every year at Inverness, uh, we always have a big fundraiser for the Evans Scholar program. And it's it's gone super, super well. Our, our membership is one of the top supporters of the program, at least in Ohio, um, in the last three to four years, we've been able to send at least four to five kids uh, through a, either Miami or Ohio State. So it's been great. Brandon, we'll wrap this up because you get back to work. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you for taking time talking with us. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it.